Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mills, and you just listened to our theme song, Boogie Trap, produced by Who Is Ariel. This is episode four of The Lookout. We've got <laughs> we've got <laughs> we've got two special guests this. in the building. Two special guests in the building. Um, we have Carlos, as you know us collectively as Two Belts, mm-hmm. and we have Jimmy from Jimmy from Jimmy. From the world, Jimmy. From hashtag Jimmy. All of us Dragon Ball fans. Since when? When did you? When's your first memory of Dragon Ball? Toonami. I literally like. I literally jumped off the side of my bed, and I think I hit my ass on the side of my. Like I was Why? so excited. No, oh, I was you so were just exci- excited. You I was like excited. A move. No, no, no. I was so excited for like the first episode of Dragon Ball because I'm like, yo, this is amazing. Da, 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 da. Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z? Dragon Ball Z. Okay. Because that's the first thing they put on Toonami. Remember, Dragon Ball came after on Toonami. So you were on early. Like 1997, like yeah, you were there. All right, but Jimmy, uh, same thing. I remember. You remember McDonald's had the the figurines. Bro, no. I wanted them so bad, <laughs> so, and it, in my like around my where I lived, like kids would just come in. You could just come and buy the toys. Yeah, so you, it's just special, specific. Yeah. So they sold figurines on Happy Meals, and then I remember all of them were silver except for Super Saiyan Goku and Free. I think Frieza was gold too, but they was both gold. But I started. I ain't gonna lie, my little, my brother, my cousin, my older cousin, I don't know where he he's at right now. Shout he, out to him. Yeah, Shout out to at. him. He had a Japanese DBZ game, like a fighting game. The final it. bout? I don't know what was it, it was. Was it PlayStation? It was, no, it was, um, it might have been. Yeah, it was PlayStation. It's final bout. Yo. Final bout was the only hard. game I could recall that, that you could play. hard, too. And then I watched the show, and I remember I went to a party, and I remember, because I was scared. <laughs> I was scared because Cell, it was the episode where Cell ate Android 17 for the first time. Oh, bro. He ate him with, like, his butt dick. Yeah. Android 18 <laughs> or 17? 18, oh, se- excuse me. 18. 18. And then he, like, kind of, like, Shorty. slobbed on the girl. Yeah, when he ate Shorty. Oh, yeah, God. It was, it was wild. <laughs> when it's... <laughs> it was like, ugh, nigga. Nigga, you just ate her with your dick ass. That's <laughs> And it, it, it sounded so... She's like, oh, oh. oh. And I was like, yo. It's like, well, how'd you record this seriously? Yeah. <laughs> This is the Lookout episode four, by the way. This is episode that. four? This is episode four. Holy shit, you've done how many episodes already? Three. Oh, you bitch. Um, Man, you're by sneaky. Yeah. At night, Jerk when off. everyone's alone. Um, when everybody's a little alone. So as you said, as you, as you just heard, yeah, the, the theme song was Boogie Trap as a remix to Boogie, uh, Boogie Back. And then this third, so this third part of the Lookout is sort of everything after the first time goku turns ultra instinct and what do you remember from i already asked flash this was on the last episode but what do you remember about do you remember actually being excited for him turning ultra instinct no why not didn't they spoil it like they were like yo he's gonna transform next week check it out i am 26 years old that's another thing i don't get <laughs> wow. like i've seen enough shown in anime where i don't get excited about transformation i know that they're gonna happen mm-hmm. like you tune in every week to watch these fights and you're like yo this nigga is not going to beat this guy without changing forms or f- discovering some sort of secret weakness. Because right. it's like the ex machina of this genre. It is the heart of the cards of Dragon Ball Z. Exactly, bro. <laughs> it is the bullshit deus ex machina. I'm going to pull something out of my sleeve that you've never seen me do. We follow, <laughs> it's we, a trope. We follow you 24-7, except for when we see you first learn how to transform, right? Like, Yeah, like, yo... Like, how many times Luffy transformed, bro? Bruh, I, I didn't even care for Snake Man. I knew it was going to be some dumb shit. Oh, no, I already knew it was going to be the same as Enel. Sorry. Wrong, oh, wrong sorry, show. wrong show. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, So this is the episode after Ultra Instinct. The first time he turns Ultra Instinct and he goes up against Jiren. Mm-hmm. He has this pretty strong, I guess he has a pretty strong showing until the actual Ultra Instinct sort of wears out. And I guess we learn all after the fact later on that it's not mastered. Mm-hmm. But, um... The last, the last image that we saw in the last episode was Frieza standing over Goku, um, and Wait. sort of hinting like, "Do you remember this moment? Because I do. You remember Namek? Because I sure do." First sure. of all, what did you think about the explanation for how he got Ultra Instinct? Because I thought that was the most bullshit shit I ever saw. In my oh life. man! <laughs> First of all, ancient mythos and lore is always the best made up bullshit because you can be like, "Yo, there's an ancient." race of blah blah blahs that have long prophesied that this shit that's happening right now will happen and that's what makes it so grandiose and mysterious i'm just kind of tired of the sayings honestly i'm gonna be real with you and dragon ball 
<laughs> yeah, in general. Just in general, I'm very tired of the Saiyans. Well, what? All right, so in terms of why, just let me know why. It's their ability to bounce back. It's like the ultimate deus ex machina. Uh-huh. It's like Some until one back. of them literally dies and they can actually take it seriously, there's almost no weight to them losing a battle. Sure. They might lose their universe or whatever, but it's just like, okay, then what? Then what are you going to do about the show? All right. I feel like there's a lot of <laughs> holes that we never talk about with Dragon Ball. Because uh-huh. like see- death has no weight. <clears throat> so it's like, why does any of this matter? I think the best thing about the show is the because it can't take itself seriously, and because there's just the humor is really good. Mm-hmm. Ribrian, yo, <laughs> I want to know the, the Goku and Frieza's dynamic because I guess through this entire show, I love it. It's like pretty like they're the polar opposite. They're, they've reached a point where they respect each other, but they absolutely hate each other because one is one hundred percent evil. I'm very evil. <laughs> I'm the baddest motherfucker alive. You could ask Rick James. Um, it's so it's funny because Goku's like that annoying dude that don't ever stop. Oh, smiling. that's why I hated him when when they introduced <gasps> hey, Frieza, Ve- when they introduced Vegeta as a prominent character in the show. I was like, I fucks with this nigga because I can relate. Right. Yeah. Like you see, you remember when um what was it when Frieza punched Goku in the stomach the first time they met and then yeah. like Goku got him right back. I was annoyed. I'm like, damn, you annoy- that shit was funny to me. That's that, but that's the thing is because Goku's still being Goku. Like, even like, when he's a jerk, he's nice. That's like us coming in and saying like, you, you like, you just came from work and also not came from work. Yeah, <laughs> they're just like ragging at each other. They're like, hey, dickhead, hey, pussy. Right? Yeah, but Goku <laughs> did it in a very <laughs> Gokuish way, and it was like, it was that's what was funny about right. it. It's like, damn, he don't really know how to stop being Goku. Right. Like Vegeta has multiple faces. Even- yeah, he's a dad. He's like a, a jerk, an asshole. He's also like a warrior that never wants to stop training. Like, mm-hmm. He's a multifaceted character. Goku just wants to get stronger all the time. Yeah. In a happy way. And that's what that's kind of like the downfall of his character. And that's why it's like, but I feel like we gravitate more towards the characters around Goku. Too. But I get, but isn't that always kind of like the case with like most like, I guess, worldly anime in terms of just like the main Shonen. character. Shonen. Like the, the anime for kids. Yeah. Because like, that's what that's what Dragon Ball Z is. It was the yeah. prototype Shonen. It's like the same for like Yugi in a sense. And Yugi. Ash and Yugi, Ash, Naruto. The, yeah. Fucking Luffy from One Piece. The thing All with, these niggas are very similar. The reason I didn't mind Yugi though is because he was like, it, that was that whole series like the span of like one year. I didn't I'm not going to lie to you. He couldn't blow up your brain. Question: Why is Frieza just in the background collecting a check? Why is she? Why is he literally? <laughs> you said he, she. He is <laughs> big facts. Frieza is, is the first gay icon. He is. He is literally in the Aliens background. Aliens do wear lipstick. He has not contributed anything except probably like roughing up a couple people. They don't he know. hasn't fought anybody. Because none of this like shit matters me. to him. I think he's just waiting till like Goku saves the day and he's too tired. He's gonna shoot him with a laser beam right through. The money in the bank. He's cashing in the money. Yeah, well, he's gonna he's gonna side super kick that nigga into the, <laughs> into the stratosphere. I, I think the writers don't really are afraid to use him too much. Right. I I just think because they don't want people to like him. Too late, nigga. Yes, he's yes. a likable heel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's, <laughs> You I have can, a, you're I giving have a golden him freeze a toy. Yes, I do. You're you're giving him <laughs> screen time, so you're gonna make him a likable heel. That's it. See. Then they're trying to undo it. Like remember all that stuff he did? He was he was um harnessing the god energy before. Mm-hmm. Now they're like, all this other. We're stuff. just gonna undo that. And now it's just Frieza chilling in the background. But he in that moment, it looks like he's about to get his revenge on Goku from mm-hmm. Planet Namek. And I guess he does in a way. He sort of pays him back for giving him the energy to still live on Planet Namek, even though the planet blew it up and he i guess he still lived whatever um but he gave him energy to sort of carry on through the fight and it was kind of weird but also kind of just like like what the fuck i don't know i don't know i feel like niggas is too nice with this nigga um <laughs> they was i think he wants uh, is he using goku just for the free, like he's literally using goku just for the free ride he's like he's seen him turn ultra instinct he knows that frieza's like he's dead so he's not going to die again. If his body gets fucking destroyed, that nigga's just never coming back. So I think that's probably the reason why he's not fighting anymore. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Um, Vegeta and Kaba, his real son. <laughs> Vegeta's real son. Vegeta's that's real really... son, Kaba. I don't know. I'm trying to explore the... The, the parallel universe that he's from? The relationship in terms of... Because Vegeta has this moment with Kaba and he's like, I'm going to resurrect planet Tadala. And I'm like, why doesn't he resurrect planet Vegeta? Why doesn't he resurrect his own Saiyan race as opposed to the Saiyan race of another universe completely? Them niggas is jerks, that's why. Mm. 
That's probably the reason. That's the re- he, 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 when I really think about it, my dad was an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Did he, he, did he even like his dad? I don't remember. I think he I don't know, but his I, dad. I, I think I just kind of look like him. I don't, I don't think I really like my He's dad. The, he respected his. I think it's because I think the Saints were. I think the Saints end up destroying themselves at the end of the day. Yeah. Nah. So, well, Frieza destroyed them. Yeah. Frieza destroyed them. Let's be real. Frieza on the destroyed- order of Lord Beerus, Frieza yes. destroyed them. Frieza destroyed them under the order of Lord Beerus. Shout out to Lord Beerus. Why Beerus do that again? Because he knew they were powerful as shit, nigga. And so now that there's only a couple Saints, he's like, okay. This nigga goes ultra instinct. I'm not so pressed. Right. Because it's one of them as opposed to a whole race of, of really in- strong <laughs> ass niggas. In a whole planet of Nappas, bro. Just Nappas. Yo, just Nappas. <laughs> That's why Vegeta don't know Nappas, Guy <laughs> Nappas, <laughs> Kid Nappas, <laughs> Old Nappa. Hey, 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 Vegeta. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, go Snapper. Oh my <laughs> God. Like yeah, that- I've turned Super Saiyan 2 in somewhere in this episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And fights that very rotund. Chick, what's her name? Gosh. <laughs> Round Betty. Mana. <laughs> the chick who's just flattening people. Uh, <laughs> Mana from Universe 4. Wow, that sounded wild. Yeah, this show is so funny, sir. It's just, I don't know. but he's You like, know what it is? I feel like he tapped into a lot of his creativity that he hasn't tapped into in a while. Like, after a while, I feel like Dragon Ball Z was very linear and how it had to be, like, super heroic and over the top. This yeah. one is a little more fun and free-flowing, like that Dragon Ball feel. Yeah. It, it, that's that's probably the, what I like about it the most. Just yeah, there's humor and you, they're able to act on that in a little bit. Um, Capitan Super Saiyan two eliminates Mana and then Frieza comes in and is like, I actually hate all fucking Saiyans, so I will kill you all. I, I will <laughs> kill you, and then I'm going to go after the pew, two pew, girls. Pew, 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 pew. Um, so he eliminates um, he eliminates Kaba, and Universe Six is now down to four, which is Khalifa Kale. Perina and Sayonel, Sayonel, the two hood Namekians, as we call them. Hood Namekians? Um, the crime time of Namekians? <laughs> Yo, they dark green for show, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> my niggas is dark green for the show. The next big battle of the series is Goku versus Khalifa and Kale. And it's kind of weird because Khalifa and Kale are the first two female Super Saiyans in the entire mm-hmm. saga. What everyone's talking about, they're actually pretty strong compared mm-hmm. to like the actual universe seven Saiyans mm-hmm. in comparison just because of how well they managed to size up with Goku. But um for some reason, I don't know the logic of this, but Goku fights them to recover stamina, which I always thought not how it was supposed to work. I thought it was like... Did he become a mandroid? I don't know. But he re- fights them to recover stamina. Um... I guess raising his like fighter Z bar, like the little levels. You know what it shit. is? I think I think it's that pushing your limits thing that Saiyans do, which also pisses me off. This is the whole problem with them. Like like they can't take a standard L. Um, Khalifa begins to adapt the fighting style as it goes on, and Kale goes berserk. What do you think about berserk, Kale? Just- Amazing! I like. Yeah. We wanted to see this for a long time yes. in the actual series, like an actual fight with an actual like berserker, that brolic ass bitch. bitch. But he manages to hold them off. I mean, I don't know if it's the fact that they they improve through the battle, but it, it managed they managed to just sort of just hold them off. Well, uh, it is two of them, and he's never faced anything quite like them before. But how it's one on two? I th- I don't know because I'm just like Khalifa and Kale are very strong Mm -hmm. very strong fighters um it's not sure how strong they are but they you know when they manage to fuse together they're probably the most strongest thing strongest probably one of the strongest characters on this rock yeah i was Uh, about to say because you know damn well jiren said (laughs) (laughs) snapped and snap your fingers (laughs) so goku ends up fighting khalifa and kale for a very long time manages to beat them after turning super saiyan god and almost eliminates them but then they somehow through some you know plot twist the patara earrings come into play and mm. khalifa and kale turn into kefla mm-hmm. um the baddest bitch q trina <laughs> um, the diamond princess <laughs> of destruction when i'm fusing all you hear is eh, 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 eh. <laughs> <laughs> we're deleting that <laughs> Is Kefla too strong? Yes. I feel like... I feel, why do you like say that? I feel like they built her too strong. Like, like you took two really strong characters and you fused them together. Because fusing isn't like adding. Fusing is like, I multiple. guess, multiply yes. or like exponents or whatever PEMDAS fucking shit that nah, works. Nah, just go with multiplication because PEMDAS... <laughs> why are you losing niggas Parentheses, all this math? exponents. Um, a lot of these niggas ain't been in math class in years. And where does this rank with other fusions? Um, like, how do you feel about this fusion? We're not attached to these characters that much. Hmm. 
So it's like you get introduced to them for a couple episodes and then they're gone again. What was she like an episode and a half or two? It was like four. It was like a four she, episode. She it was, was like three. It was like three episodes. Was three. Wow, it really was three. Um, wow. You had the fusion of Go Tanks. See that that was, that was likable because yes. they were kids and they were brash and they didn't know what the fuck they were doing. And they had time with them. They literally had a warm up session. Like yeah. like, like saw the so, wrong fusions. The chubby Yo. guy, the very skinny, dilapidated so it's like, motherfucker. It's like that is the most likable fusion. I'm pure. Vegito, Vegito's my favorite, but that's because Vegito was also a clown. Vegito's an asshole because it's like it's the joking nature of Goku with like the pompous nature of Vegeta, oh, Vegeta. and it was hilarious when he was co- in the Japanese version because I watched the Japanese version of him fighting Boo when because he, this nigga is elite. <laughs> apparently, he caught him with the spirit sword and he called him. He said, "Yo, you look like a piece of shit," and he like Boo was dripping off the the, the sword. I'm like, "Yo, my son is a clown," and when he started beating himself up to get Boo out of him, what other fusions are there? <laughs> Nothing else really. Pick Nothing else is canon. (laughs) Nothing else. Piccolo and Nail, Piccolo and Kami. I don't know. Gogeta was literally in the movie for two seconds. Did you like Gogeta? He was in the movie for two seconds. What did you see? I don't know what the fuck he looked like outside of Super Saiyan. That's also another thing. Oh, I don't think they had one else. That he didn't he never did they do one in GT? Yes, Gogeta. Super Super Saiyan for Gogeta. He Uh, was a clown too. My son did a a Kamehameha confetti. Like so Kefla turned Super Saiyan and is immediately the strongest being on this entire rock. Um, Under Jiren. She whizzes. I mean, it's comparable. I We will never know. Did he, did he, wasn't he the one to stop her, though? No, he was the one to stop the Berserker one. Yeah. He was the one. Oh, couple, he is. He stopped the Berserker one. He, I mean, he was meditating at this point because he decided after this battle, he was just going <laughs> to. You pussy niggas, be quiet. Right. <laughs> he beat Hit. Oh, shit. I forgot to talk about that. He fucking beat the shit out Molly of Molly whopped his shit. He turned Hit to job. Like, <laughs> so Hit eventually, before this, Hit has this entire. <laughs> Shout out to Carlos. <laughs> um, That's funny. Um, <laughs> Hit has this entire sequence where he decides after, oh, this nigga's got to be hurt from fighting Jiren. Um, I'm going to go rush this nigga Goku. real quick. Oh, right, from fighting Goku. I'm mm-hmm. going to go rush this nigga real quick. And he manages to get that one blow where he manages to freeze him. And then I don't know if his idea was I'm going to hold him here for the next 24 minutes um, because there was no afterthought to that. There's no like, yo, let's break the rocks under him and let him fall or something. But the plan ended up being well, really How does shitty. that work in an anime where everyone can fly? Well, they can't fly in this tournament. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um... Um, <laughs> <laughs> talk about breaking the rules. Um, so there is no game plan after that, and just you know, he just got his ass whooped. Nigga, he's Jiren. He is, Jiren is OP. He turned the word. Job. You know what's fucked up? Jiren gets all this strength and no personality. This is true. That's sad. I think the his personality is that he's supposed to be like the stoic character, but that is insanely whack. But he got a scully though when he was a kid. Oh, that was cute. <laughs> he's a big headed egg. Yeah, he's got those big ass eyes too. So there was a review I watched and they were talking about how mm-hmm. that they made Akira Toriyama. Yeah, that animation. They Akira made <laughs> trademark. We <laughs> 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 support the official release. release. <laughs> <laughs> that they made Jiren in response to Goku versus Superman, and they made Jiren very Superman like. But Ooh. even Superman isn't that stoic. Superman's just like very friendly. He's gonna be like, "Hey, I'm gonna beat your ass now, guy." But he don't have any personality. That's the thing. Superman. He's mad basic. Yeah, that's that's his, his, most, pers- he's, he's... his personality is mad basic. But the thing is, Jiren's personality almost doesn't exist. It's just meditate, whoop a nigga ass. He's the J Medi- Cole of. Wow. He's the J Cole of DBZ. Wow, that's Christ. why I don't want to hear from him. <laughs> oh my god. Um, <laughs> he's the J Cole. Jiren like Kefla, by the way. Yeah, you know. The fusion? Yeah, the, just Kefla. I feel like everything else has personality here, except for Jiren. He's just really, really strong. That's Kefla's just... cool. Kefla's can, you know, she had that super attack where it's like that all... multi attack that almost killed everybody. Yeah. Um, she reached a point where I guess because he turned ultra instinct, she realized she had to turn up. And Goku's fighting her and realizing that not only is he losing this ultra instinct power, but if he hits her, that he's pretty much dead and eliminated. Um, so he does this very cool fucking Kamehameha shit where he like slides on whatever fucking beam that she's throwing and slide on my beam, blast her in the face, blast her in the face with a <laughs> large Kamehameha. I yo, I don't know if I still don't know if I like. If you think about it, was Vegito? Do you think Vegito's stronger than Kefla? Kef- Kalefala, Kale- Kale- whatever. I don't Kalonics. know because the fact that they held up so strong against. 
like they pretty much Goku Super Saiyan two they were kind of stronger than, and Goku Blue he had to turn Blue to face them, and the only reason he didn't beat you know and they beat Blue. No, they, I'm pretty sure they they cleanly beat him. Yeah, they forced. Did they force him out of it? What do you mean? Did they force him out of blue or he stayed in blue while he was fighting them? He stayed in blue and then they kicked him in the face and then they got knocked the fuck out. Yeah, that was that's the <laughs> end. That's the end. So uh, in terms of Kefla stronger than Vegito. Because if 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 you, Because if she turns blue, it's a wrap for them niggas. Then that shouldn't that shouldn't make any sense, bro. Like they've been fighting for as longer than they've been alive, times three, probably. But the way those sayings on Planet Sadala have just been I don't know, they're stronger than them at saying. I don't know. Power levels are bullshit. Cause I, yeah, I just Absolutely. don't think. I don't. You just build that's why they don't have them anymore. Cause yeah. they're bluntly not. If Goku was handling handling both of them separately, I don't think. But I still think Vegeta, Ooh. Vegeta plus Goku times or exponentially or factorial, whatever, however they do, whatever they do, <laughs> standard deviation, yeah, whatever, ex- whatever <laughs> they standard do, deviation. standard deviation. <laughs> oh my god, I'm <laughs> whatever. I feel like whatever combination of Goku plus free plus Vegeta should be more than those. Kefla. Yeah. Khalifa and Kef- Kale and Kale. Kal- Khalifa. Khalifa. Can we yeah. talk about how much of a dub Vegeta is? Like, niggas make him a dub all the time. Son. Let's talk about that. I uh, am so unimpressed, my nigga. This is the second strongest nigga in the universe, and then you got him getting his ass handed to him. But he has a pretty good edit through this entire... Like, fruit. Like, through this entire series. He's given a couple of niggas the hands, but he's not winning. But he, I mean, he's had a good for the entire thing of Super. He's kind of been like, it hasn't been, and I talked about this in the first episode, it hasn't been like number one, number two now. It's been like 1A, 1B. Yeah. It's been like, okay, he's blue now, he's blue. It's been um, Goku gets eliminated first in that Universe 6 tournament because that nigga poisoned him in the next and wild shit. And then Vegeta, like, wipes the floor with three members of the team until he gets the hit and then gets his shit mopped. Um, it's just the way that Vegeta... Goku doesn't lose, like, how Vegeta... Topo! They make his loot, his losses so fucking brutal and dirty. Remember when he fought Majin Buu and Majin Buu was choking him, hanging just, him in mid air? Oh, and this nigga with bad animation with his eyes bulging. Yeah, out. exactly. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you don't ever see Goku lose like that. You don't ever see Goku. Goku lose. never has to experience that level of shame. Like, like, like villains do not humiliate that nigga. Mm-hmm. They just beat him up a lot. Like you saw how Vegeta Frieza got beat up too. Yeah. Goku still ain't never get beat up like that. <laughs> nigga, you, oh, when nigga grabbed his fucking tail and drug Dr- him through the... Oh, my God. Who? Fr- wait, you talking about Fast Dispo? Yeah. And then Topo still had him looking crazy. Oh, nigga, Topo gave him the hand. Topo had Frieza too far. Oh, sorry. It, <laughs> it doesn't matter. The people that watch this thing watch the show, but it, you know what I mean. It's like, it looks bad for them. Right. And it's just like, there's no love for them like that. I feel like it's nice that we get to see more of the other Z fighters mm-hmm. getting involved in this kind of thing. Like, they even brought back, you know, like, Android 17. Vegeta, Vegeta mm-hmm. got caught in the damn pot, son. A evil containment wave. Like, come on, son. Mafu bitch ass. He got caught in the <laughs> pot. He looks stupid getting caught in the pot. You getting caught in the <laughs> pot. You getting rocked. <laughs> Goku, you ain't, Mama. Never, you ain't never still gonna see Goku. <laughs> Goku need to take it out like that. For I real, for he, real. I think probably the only... No, he's never really taken an embarrassing L. No, he's never. He's taken never it. got something put through his chest. Nah, he did. He got maybe the in Dragon Ball. Maybe in Dragon. He got Ball. the special beam cannon put through his the chest. The nigga got hit by a bus <laughs> and lost the world tournament. <laughs> <laughs> that, you know, Dragon Ball was clowning everybody. Dragon Ball. He he clearly was like, oh my god. Um, he got hit by a bus, bro. That was forty years. So ago. Goku's Ultra Instinct Kamehameha to me like ranks in one of the best finishes of Dragon Ball in terms of just like how they end a villain. What is like a favorite finish of you guys? Oh, when Vegeta died. Vegeta killing himself? Yeah, bro. Oh, against Boo. Yeah. Against Boo. Because that was like heartfelt and sweet. Mm. You know? It came from a good place. So, sorry. Got to go to my son, Gohan. Oh, Gohan <sighs> killing Cell? Gohan killing Cell. I feel like that was a mad, grandiose fashion, but yeah. the, the fact that the Boo saga comes after that kind of dissipates it. Yeah, it was. Because it wasn't like supposed that. to, right? It was supposed to be the end. It was supposed to be the end, then. They had the eulogy for Goku. And, and then all they that. was like, oh, we making bread. Yeah, let's continue. Let's continue this. Oh, let's bring Goku back. And let's dead Gohan again. Let's just, <laughs> just make him trash. I um, think that's the wackest part about all of this. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Um, <sighs> Universe 6 is now down to the two good Namekians. Gohan? Look, I'm not even going to be upset my if y'all play Vegeta. Niggas. But let my son Gohan. They did all this. Is that on there? What do you mean? Do you have Gohan on there? The fact that he ain't transformed? <laughs> transformed to what? 
Exactly, because they built him up. <laughs> no, he transforms into the. You, all right, so here's the thing. Here's the thing with that Mister Gohan shit. It's kind of weird to fucking see because you don't notice it, but there's at some point where he doesn't have the cowlick, and then when he does have the cowlick, and apparently the cowlick is like his mystic, like oh otherworldly supreme Kai power up shit. Like it's fucking whack. But he said he was gonna get it. Remember they to built the him. next yeah he was like oh I've discovered this form. I'm gonna that, do it my way. I'm gonna do it my way and just became the same old Gohan, which is kind of... How did he lose again? Um, we'll get to that next episode. Oh, that's the next. <laughs> <laughs> um, will will or should Vegeta ever reach Ultra Instinct? Yeah, You've sure. You've seen Goku sort of struggle with Ultra Instinct. It's been this thing. They both, they both learn about it at the same time. Could you imagine he turns a different color? That'd be fire. Like, I was gonna say gold. Well, yeah, I was gonna think gold. <laughs> like a uh, uh, ultra super saiyan. Wow, <laughs> that's um, that's never been thought of before. Oh my god, bronze. He, I mean, he has the Pepsi blue Vegeta, it's rose nice. gold, Pepsi blue. Um, Volt highlighter green. Oh, green there, yeah, right? Yeah. Like the little neon green shit. But that isn't that uh that K- be... Berserker. Yeah, fuck. that's kind of legendary super saiyan too. Purple. Ew. <laughs> Um, nah, have that nigga turn bright red on, on fucking blood, my nigga, like... K.O. Ken, got you. Nah, uh, <laughs> K.O. Ken, it's K.O. I'ma kick your ass. Kick O. Ken. So Goku eliminates Kefla. She's gone. Universe 6 down to two fighters. Um, the remaining universes left at this point, I believe, are Universe 2. There's Universe 3 left. There's pretty much a whole body, a whole bunch of universe they have to clean up before they get to the actual mm-hmm. main event. Like the main event is Universe Eleven versus Universe Seven, and they've realized that we've got to get these niggas out of here so we can get to the true main. How event. does the polar opposite universe thing work again? So if their universes add up to thir- thirteen, mm-hmm. yeah. they're the polar opposite of each other. Even so that makes sense. six, six and, and seven are kind of four and whatever. They're not here. Nine. Uh, um. Yeah. <laughs> Even though apparently totally. there was like what seven other universes that got erased before this. Um, yeah, there were six other universes erased. There were eighteen, and he just decided I'm going to eliminate these things. And um, and only the strong shall survive. Universe ten has been eliminated. Universe nine has been eliminated. So we're down to a couple more universes. Universe three, universe four. Could you imagine just waking up one day and your universe isn't there anymore? Like well, you, would you, you wake don't up? wake up. You no, nah, you'd wake up in that line in like their heaven or whatever. That's a little cloud. Yeah, shit, a little, yeah, I know that cloud. shit is whack. That if you're not like a great warrior, you can't have a you full can't ass have body. Your body. Yeah, but the same goes for like evil niggas. Yeah, it was like also you can keep your body because you're evil and we have to keep track of you niggas. We can't have you with the other cloud niggas. We gotta have you especially in so this every- cocoon in this weird universe. So what happens if you turn into the cloud? You just float. You just float, nigga. You just float on. You just float. You King just- Yama's like, oh, you go here. Which is a crazy system just to write everybody's name down. Just like, yeah, you should be able to scan. And then it's body. like he has to do mad fucking like paperwork. paperwork. Yeah, Ugh. it's like it's like tedious. Like yo, you're really god, but like your job sounds mad whack. So we have Goku who is now approached by Universe Two, and niggas are just like, oh shit, this mm-hmm. nigga's weak again because he has not mastered Ultra Instinct and he's lost his stamina. That's what you think. I'll take this five out of energy. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> um. So now the androids join Goku, and it's Goku versus, I believe, it's Ribrian, um, Rosie, Zarbuto, Zerulon, and Filler. <laughs> pretty much Filler. Yeah. It's pretty much Filler at this point. Um, what do you think about Android 17? Because he gets Love a good him. showing let's, let's clap it up for Android in this 17. entire thing. Let's Android 17. An amazing character, honestly. Beautiful. He fights He fights Rosie, and 18's fighting Ribrian, and they All manage the to animals. catch... They manage to catch Rosie off guard. Rebrand accidentally hits Rosie. Android 17 takes advantage, blasts her out of her fucking whatever that shit is on her head, um, and knocks her out of the universe. Blast a bitch out her hat. Um, yeah, be blessing Talk about 17, man. 17 has just been elite. Phenomenal. The MVP. Phenomenal. Elite. The nigga is elite. Do you want toys immediately? Yeah. Yeah. I actually want a figure, honestly. Like my um, I, did I tell you my manager runs like an account. He has like all these action figures, and he takes pictures of them, mm-hmm. and they look so good, bro. It's like Arby's. Yeah. You ever saw the Arby's? Anymore? Arby's is doing like mad crazy shit. Yeah. Like for anime culture, it's just wild. Um, Ribion is taken out by Android eighteen because after Ribion turns into a giant, which is a recurring theme. Oh, from niggas get bigger? Out. Yeah. When they get stronger? <laughs> a recurring oh, theme boy. From here on out. It's like I've never seen that before. Giant with wings. Um, <laughs> Android 18 decides, hey, I'm going to run up her arm and punch a hole straight through her head and then knock her out. That's some Saitama shit. I respect it. That was some cool shit. Um, 
they dispatch Rosie and Rebrian, and then the final remaining that. three filler guys. Um, <laughs> Thanks for calling them filler guys. They are filler. Raban, Rabanra, Zarbuto, and Zirulan turn into the maidens mm-hmm. for some reason, which is pretty bizarre. And they have this technique called pretty black hole. Pretty black hole. And it's a pretty black hole that's binding. Yeah, and when you open it up, you see Maxwell. It's heavy. It sounds like an X-rated Miguel song. It sounds like a wild X-rated joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get in your pretty, pretty black, black hole. Goku hits them with the Kamehameha. They're knocked <laughs> off. At the same time, um, Gohan and Piccolo Sorry. are fighting the Hood Namekians. And the hey yo, you not from this hood, cuz <laughs> you go where somewhere. Grandma stay, you go bro. somewhere where you stay, where, where your, your grandma, grandma stay, <laughs> or where your daddy stay. Oh my god, he fights the hood Namekians, and um, they said, "Oh, we've harnessed into." So pretty much, they banked them all on those two Namekians because those Namekians have absorbed the rest of their Namekian kind into one fighter so there are only two fighters left niggas is like we represent the east block homie but they still pretty <laughs> the much the whole east block <laughs> nigga we all here nigga they still what do you mean it's just two of you nah we all here cuz they, all... <laughs> they pretty handedly get beat by mm-hmm. Gohan and Piccolo which means dude, they're Namekians were whack yeah they're all whack Gohan is stronger <laughs> than the whole collectively block. they're all whack which is like they probably had females that's why they're not strong. it was like 90 Aww. dendes yeah, exactly. you didn't have to say that it's like 90 dendes you just saw a powerful female named Kefla Powerful, you know, sane woman who don't need no man. So now we're down to Universe 7 versus Universe 4. The universe with all the... No, Universe 3. 3. No, Universe 4. The shit with the small nigga and the tiny nigga. And the <laughs> small nigga, nigga and the tiny nigga. And the invisible He's nigga. so beautifully descriptive. Um, This is a, this is the Black Dragon Ball podcast. Um, this is the blackest Dragon Ball podcast. We've said nigga at least a million times. So we got Daemon... Who is Oh man, these guys look like a huge tribute to the Dragon Quest series. Um, who else was there? I forgot yeah. that there was an invisible... little known fact, Akira Toriyama worked on the Dragon Quest series and designed a lot of their characters. I don't know how that was little known when you literally will see the cover and be like, This is Dragon Ball Z, bro. Yeah, you're right, but a lot of people don't talk about <laughs> it like that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, because F- yeah, okay. Shout out to me, learning Jing. Um Let's move, hiding like a little bitch. Um, sorry, <laughs> I'm reading. I, I told you to read that. <laughs> oh my god, that is hiding like a little bitch. There's an invisible fighter. It's apparently something they've never encountered before in all of the Dragon Ball series. Is someone being invisible and fighting them? And well, wouldn't it be the same as fighting like I don't know, Commander Blue in Dragon Ball? It's just an invisible fighter. They've well, because remember, before. he's telekinetic, so it's just kind of like facing. An they've inv- never faced him before. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, him. wasn't there a nigga in like? I I'm trying to figure out. Yes, yeah, I was trying piece? to figure out other invisible motherfuckers. Yeah, One Piece? Um, no, not in One Piece, bro. But I'm talking about in Dragon Ball Z. In, in Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ball, that was in invisible stealth mode. I don't know. I don't think they had. I really feel like they were people. monster. Remember when they had to fight all those monsters? When with, there was a Devil Man and all these other monsters. Well, like, let's not talk about Devil Man. Oh yeah, didn't he get poked in the butthole to lose or some shit like that? I don't know. Bro. Something along those lines. Something like that. Invisible I'm fighter. Um, I'm talking about Dragon Ball, the anime. They don't know how to fight him. They don't know where to find him. They can sense him. They're still getting their ass whooped. Um, Why don't they just, I don't know. They do the thing where there's like, yeah, there's like, (laughs) oh, there's dust. Oh, now we can see him. And Piccolo eliminates him. And then Piccolo gets a pretty embarrassing elimination. Mm. He loses to the incredibly tiny person Mm -hmm. and falls off pretty terribly. Um, He ends up being a bug warrior that's too small to see, but Android 17 is smart enough to say, I'm going to put him in this, you know. This little vacuum that I have, this little energy bubble that I have, and literally kick him off the stage. Um, he was brolic though, right? Like, no, he wasn't brolic. He was just tiny. So yeah, how, he was. How, how he throw Piccolo off again? Oh, because Piccolo couldn't see him, so he thought he was trying to fight another invisible fighter, but it just ended up being a very small fighter, so mm-hmm. he couldn't see him, and then he just kicked him off the stage. Amazing. Um, what do you think about Piccolo in just this tournament, or just super, or just in general? I think. That this show has made it so you can actually like enjoy all the other characters besides Goku and Vegeta. Mm-hmm. Like this whole tournament of power structure is built for that reason. But I feel like Piccolo had like no moments. Like all his oh moments, absolutely Piccolo. All his moments are like taking care of Gohan and like absolutely getting his arms blown off for Gohan. And- the usual. So yeah, yeah, he's living his best life. <laughs> the usual, he's living his best life as um, as, a, as a stepdad. The usual. Do you feel like considering Super is going to continue as the, they just revealed the news a couple of days ago? It has to. It has to. Do what you do feel you, like where they stop at? They need to bother giving Piccolo something new, like a new form or a new state of mind or a new fusion. Oh, he could turn like like Lord Slug. 
Bro. Or they could just delve into like the ancient Namekki. I don't ancient know. Namekian. A whole block fused. The whole planet fused to two niggas, and I was unimpressed. Like, and they were got washed he's... because they aren't that strong. Yeah, they got he... washed by other Namekians. He don't have nothing, bro. <laughs> this is the way. They got to give him something. <laughs> universe seven versus universe three. And, and you got? Th- is he really gonna be competitive anymore? Like from here, pretty, from... that's what I'm saying. It's like, what's the point of having him if he's not he's truly competitive? competitive? He's not. Co- look, like, they... what's the point of having him? I mean, he's a smart fighter, but he's not even the smartest fighter. He's not the strongest fighter. He's not the most resourceful fighter. Uh-huh. He's literally. You have to set him up to do his hell grenade. Like if he, he can't do it by himself, that's his strongest move, right? Hell yeah, grenade. Yeah, yeah, hell's own grenade. And and Gohan had to like stall him for him. And the then user, like right? if the special beam cannon, he has to charge it longer. He has to charge it. So it's kind of like what what do we do with Gohan at this? I mean, what do we do with Piccolo at this point? We fuse him with Gohan. <laughs> Piccolo Han. Pickle, Pickle Han. Han and Pickle. G- Golo. <laughs> They'd probably call him Pickle. Pickle. <laughs> They'd literally probably call him Pickle. Uh, Pickle. Hey Pickle. Uh, you know? <laughs> um. <laughs> So now the final three universes are Universe 3, Universe 7, Universe 11. Universe 11 is like, I want no parts of this. I'm not even trying to get my, you know, my bodysuit dirty. Um, so we see Universe 3 versus Universe 7. Universe 3 First is... First of un- all, shout ahead. out to Universe 11's um, God of Destruction or whatever Clown? that nigga is. Because that nigga is... Belmod? Spooky. Belmod is This is spooky. an ugly name, by the way. They only have three fighters left. They've had three fighters left for the, pretty much half of this tournament. Um, they can't stand to lose any more fighters. Universe Seven still has like a whopping like six or seven people, which is insane. Because they're the protagonists, really. Um, <laughs> and they go up against Universe Three, which only uh-huh. has about five fighters left. One of them is a robot, Narirama, um, who is no, it's not Nari- no, it's Biara, um, who gets eliminated by the androids. He thought he could stand the androids. He's like, "Why do you keep shooting?" Um, <laughs> oh, why, why are you trying al- to hurt me in al- this tournament to the it's death? almost like you have unlimited energy I can't quite figure this out <laughs> <laughs> and then <Gear>? um, <laughs> he's, he's eliminated by the androids um, the three remaining androids which are pieces of each other they join together um, Gohan decides he's going to take this one so Gohan and Veg- Goku and Vegeta could save their energy and manage to fight Universe 11 um until, I mean, Gohan does pretty well. He does a, he unleashes a pretty good Kamehameha wave. And it doesn't manage to knock them off. And Paparoni, which is the weirdest fucking name. Paparoni. Paparoni. That's the name of the doctor. Paparoni. Dr. Paparoni. Dr. Paparoni decides I'm going the father to of Wheeler with this robot. Lord Zed shows up, throws his staff down, and says, make my monster grow. And we get <laughs> the ultimate fighting, demolishing, overpowered giant squid i don't know like, i don't know i could have swore i saw that nigga on like power rangers ninja Storm. i thought he looked he looked like you know that all right so this is wild digimon you you seen that when you remember myotis mon in like yeah season yeah. two he looked like that like squid myotis mon or oh malo myotis yeah mon. there we go he malamar kinda like, he kind of looked up. like that <laughs> inke so paparoni merges with the robots create the final bosses of all bosses it's literally like the most like final boss Thing of all final bosses um and then what happens he has all these powers where he can use ultrasonic waves like dolphins to figure, <laughs> out, <laughs> <laughs> to figure out where all these people are um he tries to eat android 18 mm-hmm. tries goku, to eat that ass i can't blame him <laughs> goku yeah, you, saves her you did always have a thing for blondes um he almost eliminates no, android 17 and becomes the ire of all universes mm-hmm. Um, but Android 18 sacrifices herself for 17 because it's like, they'd rather have you than me. That's a Fendi. Good. Go sit down. (laughs) Because I have no weird shield powers and you do. What does she do? She human now, right? She's... No, she's not human. I thought she, they wished she's, she's, she's not. They just took the, the bombs out of, out of them. They but took the bombs. Did out she of them. have a kid? Oh, that's in GT. She's humanoid. She's humanoid, bro. It's like they have they have uh, mechanical enhancements in their body implanted by Doctor Giro. Mm-hmm. That's also why they don't age. Damn, Jimmy. I miss so yeah, much. Yeah, that those enhancements allow them to absorb the cell energy saga, Android kinetic, saga. I might. Contact. I might do that after this. Because like, I thought Krillin. When she, I thought when she came back, he wished her to be human. That was he like, tried oh. to. Because he wanted to, as you know. Fuck. And then he couldn't because... Danger! He smashed the droid. Danger. Oh. Danger. Danger. <laughs> Will Robinson. So that was, no, that it was, was Danger. She smashed the home. You know. The Merge Monster. They never really gave him a name. 
Um, he almost eliminates Goku and Frieza saves him and says mm-hmm. my f- my foot slipped or some shit like that. <laughs> 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 Fucking cloppy, yo. And Goku's like, oh shit, Frieza, yo, do you want to help us beat this guy? Nah, yes. <laughs> and Frieza's like, oh, he, he doesn't say yes, but when the monster comes and attacks him, Frieza gets wild offensive. He's like, are you attacking me because I'm the weakest one? Do you think I'm the weakest one? So you just start shooting finger things, which is like the best move now ever. Uh, oh, it's, nigga, because it's so compact. It's the most. You don't move. have to move. You, you could stand like this and shoot at niggas. You don't have to. There's no arm formation. There's nigga. No- you could go double Monique on a nigga. Like, <laughs> mm, 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 mm. oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You're never gonna live this down. Also, listen to two belts this week, by the way. Yeah, two belts this week is spectacular. Yeah. I um, wish I was there for the whole show. All five warriors decided we're going to gang up, gang, gang. And shoot beams at this giant guy as he shoots beams back at us. Red beam out of which the is the, which is basically the motif of all Dragon Ball series. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's like especially in like the games, like mm-hmm. when something goes really bad, they're like, okay, everyone just shoot and at this. Fighter Z, are you able to do a beam battle? Or is the it beam just... struggle? No, but it cancels out when you throw two beams at each other sometimes. Huh. Interesting. Um, Android seventeen is like, oh shit, nigga, I'm an android and he's got to be an android too. So that giant. You know, bubble on his head must be the source of his power. Uh, so Android 17 says, I'm going to use a shield while they're all shooting at him and breaks his head, blasts his head, and eventually they defeat the monster. Yo, 17 don't give no shits about nothing. But I think it's because he just unlimited everything. So my son, my son yeah, is a he's got max stats. He's, yeah, he's probably, he's clearly stronger than 18. We're trying to figure out, is he stronger than Blue or is he on the same level as Blue? He's smarter than 18. I, th- I thought the thing about Blue... I don't Blue... think they're the same power level anymore, 17 and 18. Mm-hmm. I think 17, because 17 had that fight with Goku where he pretty much like stood it on his own and almost beat Goku. In Blue, that they're kind of around the... like In terms of ranking, he's like higher than Gohan, mm-hmm. but less than Vegeta. Where, where does Blue stack up with Super Saiyan? Because Blue I was stronger than Super Saiyan. I was... Re- I, mean, I mean, no, I mean like all the Super Saiyans. Like one through, he is stronger than three and four. It's got to be it's, because there were people talking there about. Is no four, I was really. yeah, facts. I was watching videos GT. and they're talking about <laughs> blue isn't even all that strong. The main thing about it is it's better key control. And I was like, but that doesn't make sense because he's fighting stronger people and resorting nah, to blue. Blue is stronger. Blue is stronger. Blue is like the next level of. I think it's a. It's a. I don't know. It's just a stronger form because mm. he couldn't combine Ko Ken and Super Saiyan, but he could combine Blue and Ko Ken. So they were like, I feel like he Blue. never tried. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he's never gone. I feel into like a he literally never like, tried. Where he's just like, let I me think it. about that thing I did before and add it to this thing I'm doing now. And to and they just started. I don't know how does Ultra Instinct stack again? Is Ultra Instinct just a form? I think it's complete mastery of all the things you need to be like a super strong badass. Yeah, that's really what it is. I don't know if it, it's like you know. Okay, you're not going to understand what the fuck I was going to tell Go ahead. But it's just like in One Piece, you know how they had the armament, hockey, and all those different levels? It's like mastery over all those things. Because he yeah. was dodging with his eyes like, ooh, I can see. I can see you're punching a million years. Because Ultra Instinct is supposed to be, okay, you get it to this level where you don't think about it. It's like fighting. a Zen mode. Yeah, it's a Zen mode. But then it's like, what does that do with... Because when he, did he was he doing damage on Jiren when he first turned Ultra Instinct, or was it just he, he was avoiding? He, he his hit stuff? probably about two good shots. One that good Jiren shot, reacted. One good shot. He got a kicked in the stomach, and he also got like scraped in the face at some point. And Jiren was like, "Ugh." Jiren was like, "That nigga hit me in the face." Oh, that's that's what it because <laughs> with no, with yeah, no soul, if, no if soul, they ever did, personality. if they ever did an abridged version, I feel like you have to do that voice. You'd have or, to do that voice because he had no soul, passion, personality. Wow, him. it's like you're a swaggerless monkey. Because when Vegeta caught him in his stomach, Vegeta uh, Jiren was like, oh, "Oh, was he also tight that he got hit in the stomach?" I think he was also tight that he got hit in the stomach. Like, I don't know how hurt he was. Oh, uh, he, he had a know what? I don't know. He had a heavy meal that day. We we'll find out next episode. But it's a. Uh, I don't know. In terms of Ultra Instinct, just trying to figure this thing out, is it literally like a stronger level or is it just kind of like another form? form. Because the gods apparently... They stood up, but that's the next episode. Right? They can... They've tried Ultra Instinct, but it's not really a Super Saiyan level. Mm. Like, it's not a level where they come and they go stronger and there isn't like a breaking point. It's kind of just like, you've mastered this point. you mastered all these techniques. But how does Vegeta turn into Super Saiyan Blue? 
they talk. You see, that's the BS you got to look up. And that's the <laughs> plot holes for DBZ. Because I heard apparently he learned it some other way through the God. Because he also went through the God training. Mm-hmm. And I heard he trained with Whis like separately from Goku. Yeah. And that's how he learned it. Just, but you see, you see all the plot holes. You can't make sense of DBZ. You thought? I mean, I thought initially it was like, oh, you have to turn red to turn blue. That's that's that was how that's it was supposed to be. <laughs> that's that's how it was supposed to be until Vegeta was like, nah, I'm gonna go bullets wave this or whatever that thing is called. Or whatever he mm-hmm. did in the non mention The non canon G Bulma showed up with a power ray and was like, turn make me turn blue. And he was like, Yo, drink this. <laughs> you Wait. got the spit the essence of Oh, uh, you haven't seen the movie. Babe, spit in my mouth. <laughs> the essence of the Black Panther. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. I saw it. Oh, you're talking about no, the juicy juice. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the juicy juice that turns out. Oh my I know. god. It's so juicy, we juicy have, <laughs> as we close this episode, we have the final two fighters. Mm-hmm. We have the final two universes, at least. We have Universe 7, which has five fighters. They obviously have the numbers. We have <laughs> Universe 11, the numbers. <laughs> which has Jiren, which is just... That's a brolic ass nigga. I don't know. I would say predict, but you guys saw it already. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's already happened. It's already happened. Um, the final five versus the final three. I think it's going to be it's a bunch of interesting stuff happens. Um, they should have the numbers. I don't know. It's. I think at this point, it's like what, like seven minutes left. Yeah, and it's the longest seven minutes of all uh, time. ever. You know what it is when you waiting for hey, the train. Dude. <laughs> it's like when you waiting. For it's the train. like when you waiting for the train at four a.m. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Facts. Oh, it's delayed. Oh, they don't tell you, but it's seven six minutes. Seven minutes left. For like or like what happens with the L yeah. train? The L train is the worst. The L train will tell you, hey, we're going to be here in about six minutes. Yeah, we got a lot to talk about in the next episode. Jimmy, Carlos, thank you for coming through. Carlos, <laughs> where can they find you? Oh, you can find me on Twitter at Damn It Carlos, at Instagram at Damn It Carlos, and um, at the Titty Bar, also Damn It Carlos. Ah, you can't find me at all. You can't find them. Yeah, yeah. It just hashtag Jimmy. Just hashtag Jimmy. Um, hashtag. Shout out to everybody tuning in to everything RNC related. We have the RNC playlist. We have the RNC radio, which you can tune in with Justin Davis and Josh P. It's a great podcast. We have the A Show featuring myself and Justin Davis, where we talk about wrestling every week. Hardest working man in real nigga entertainment. We also have RSPN. You can listen to with Jeff and Mark. You can listen to them on Fridays. We also have another show called The Perfect Play. Um, so RNC radio doing big things. Um, stay tuned for the next episode which will Big be nigger, where we things. break down Universe 11 versus Universe 7 and why so many things went wrong with Vegeta. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vegeta, the problem um, Thank you for everyone tuning in. Thank yes, you for my bye. guests for coming through. Um, we will see you next time. Bye.